morning, you guys. Uh, it is VetFam day three, or day three. However you say three, I don't care either way. Uh, today's Thursday. Uh, so, 27 degrees outside. When I first got in the car, it is now, now says it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, my coat is purple. <laughs> For those of you who know, I love green. But purple is opposite on the color wheel of green. And I can wear accessorize with my green. So, uh, I bought this coat two years ago for 20 bucks, right? Shut up. I was at, it was at the end of, huh, how was it? it? Anyway, it was like at the end of the winter or whatever. And, um, I go in and I'm looking at coats and, and they didn't have green. Otherwise I would have a green one. Um, and they're really, prices were slashed down. This coat has an inside lining, which I have unzipped out. So you can wear, you can use just the lining by itself, or you can use just this coat by itself, or you can zip them all together and have this major big old parka thing on. <laughs> I'll use that later. Um, but yeah, it's getting cold, you guys. <laughs> um, but I don't mind it. I actually like cold weather. I prefer cold weather to warm weather. Uh, did I say warm weather? No. Let's change that. I prefer warm weather to anything, but I prefer cold weather to hot weather. That's me. Alright? But this nice warm sea... Oh, it's like a dream. It's like a cloud. It's just... Yes. It's beautiful. Okay, so today, Thursday... I am on the road this morning. Uh, this morning, I start off just a little bit later. My Thursdays are a little bit later, so they kind of catch, I kind of kick back. Um, all the things that I had on my list yesterday, I tell you, I, I had more time yesterday than I've had in the past week or so to do anything. I did not get any of those things done on my list. I have the package in the car now that I was supposed to take to the post office. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I suppose I could have just set it up for them to pick up the package, but the problem is I did, didn't know what my mother's schedule was. I didn't know if anyone would be home. So here, I, I will make it to the post office today. Um, I, Jewel came over. Well, we are seeing Jewel every afternoon. My mom's picking her up from school. And yesterday, because I was home so early and because I had, you know, I, I did my reports, but I kind of pushed them off a little bit until later in the evening. And, um, they, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. This view, this view is beautiful, you guys. I'm sorry I'm not sharing it with you right now. But I'm trying to drive, all right? Um, it, it, it is beautiful. And, and I know that I drive this every, you know, practically every single day. But it is just gorgeous. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, I, uh, yeah, so yesterday I spent a little time with my mom. Because I needed to be sure she was okay. And she wasn't just saying she was okay. And I... You know, we, so we did a few things. We went uh, to a specialty store that we like to go to. And then um, it's a kitchen store and it is so cool. Oh my gosh. Maybe one day I'll take you guys over there. It's, what is it, something cooking? I can't remember. But anyway. Oh, new construction. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> um, so anyway, we went to the cooking. She loves the cooking shop. And it always gives me an idea, too, what it is that she might want. So, for Christmas, I definitely have ideas for my mom. Um, let's see. So, we had fun there, and then we went from there to go pick up Jewel. And we were there early, so we, we got a soda. And then, um, well, she got a soda. I'm not a big fan of sodas, so I had uh, 
something else to drink a tea. But anyway, we hung out and that was really cool. I needed to do that. I needed to be sure that my mom was okay. Oh, she was laughing and her color looked really good and her blood pressure was back to normal and she felt fine and everything was wonderful. The unfortunate part about the heart sometimes is it'll act up and then it'll be fine. And your body tries to fix things. It really does. Uh, we call it, you know, compensating. It has all these compensatory mechanisms. And uh, so she's back to 100%, which is good. Uh, it's awful to have to worry, you know, about people. Who are, I mean, you know, I want her to feel good. So uh, let's see. I, whew, I need to get back to my... <laughs> I need to work on a... <laughs> Um, ornament. The ornaments I've chosen, which I'm not going to tell you about until we do the exchange, um, they're a bit time consuming, but I'm really pleased with the outcome. I am really pleased with the outcome. So I've been thinking lately that I really need to uh, buy new glasses. And I've, I've worn glasses since I was in first grade, okay? So I like to wear stylish glasses. The last time I went to go get glasses, I am not sure why I did this. I I don't know where my head was. I, I guess I thought it was a bargain. I went to iMart or one of those places and bought two... I always buy two frames, okay? I buy my sunglasses and my regular glasses. And the frames were, uh, what did they say, guaranteed, you know, if they fall apart or, you know, whatever. They replace them. But I think that the lens were lenses were cut very well. I have, you guys, when I was a kid, the Coke bottle glass, I have rare, especially on one side, I have a very, very heavy prescription. The other one falls within the realm of, okay, kind of average, you know, Joe uh, prescription, but the other side is a very, very heavy prescription. So, um, I like it when they can grind it so that it doesn't, uh, and this is you know, over the past 10 years, they've been able to grind lenses so that they don't look like the old school Coke bottle glasses, you know? Um, but anyway, it's the frames. The frames were just a mess. This is the second frame because the first one fell apart and then they replaced it. And I liked the first one. I loved that shape. And anyway, it's probably been more than a year. I usually keep track of this stuff, but, uh, well, actually... It has been more than a year because I got them before I moved. And so I need to have my eyes examined and then go and pick some frames. I saw some really cool frames in another specialty shop I like to go to called Beeps. They sell um, the uh, reading glasses. So they had like the plus one or the, you know, whatever magnification just for reading. But those glasses were the bomb. They had like polka dots and they definitely had green. And so they were expensive, but you know what? I don't... When it comes to a frame, give me something I can wear every single day. And if I can have an extra pair, I'm even happy as a clam. You know what I mean? Uh, a frame, you know what? I wouldn't, I, I could keep my frames for two years. I wear them every single day, though. I don't want them falling apart on me. And I want them to be fashionable and to look good on my face. And, you know, uh, I have a very small head, so I want something that fits. But anyway, so uh, in my head right now, I'm thinking I want to buy new glasses. So I think I'm going to pick up a couple of frames and then... Um, schedule my eye doctor's appointment and I, I really like to go see this guy he's in Las Lunas and uh, he's an ophthalmologist and he between the times I was moving back and forth uh, uh, California, New Mexico California, he saw me probably when I was like 13 or so I don't, you know, so I've known him over the years he knew my parents very well um so when he, he actually gave me contact lenses for my high school graduation. Yeah. So we know each other pretty well. So I think I'm going to go see him. Um, 
sometimes I buy my frames from, or usually I buy my frames from him, except for the time I went to Imar, which was a big mistake. But uh, I don't always find the selection that I want there. Uh, he'll have some good ones, but so maybe two frames and sunglasses. But anyway, I don't know if you guys wear glasses, but or if you care that much about. But when it's a part of your life, uh, I'm not. It is me. I wear glasses. I'm not a contact person. Um, and contact people may not understand that, but I I've tried contacts. I have to have specialty contacts because of my eyes, and I just. The last time I wore contacts, they were gas permeable hard lenses. Oh my God! But that was 30 years ago. I guess I I don't know what's what. I don't know the new technology that I could wear now. But all I can say is it felt like I had rocks in my eyes the whole entire time, and my eyelids were swollen for the entire two years that I wore contacts. So that kind of imprints on me that you know, oh, I don't need them. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today, and hopefully I can get some of the stuff done that my to-do list yesterday that I really did not accomplish. Uh, but, you know, I had quality time with my mom, which I think was very important at this time. And I love my mom, you guys. She's so awesome. And then uh, also to be able to hang out with Jewel. So Girl Scout meeting tomorrow, I have to work on that. And I will because the meeting's got to go on, right? Okay. You guys have a great day. It's now 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep warm. Bye.